Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, man. Help me beat the algorithm. Oh, the algorithm. Ooh, fan mail. I got two letters today, twice as many as yesterday. MIB, stop talking about buy.jp. You know, that website where you can shop Japanese stores and bid on Japanese auctions and get cool exclusive stuff at great prices. You talk about it too much. Huh. Alright, well, letter number two. MIB, where do you get all your cool stuff? Your Zone Fighter stuff, those plushies, those books, everything. Absolutely real talk. For every one person who pokes at me for talking about Bayou so much, there are 20 people asking how I get this stuff. <laughs> Just check out the link in my description. Now look, starting a Bayou account isn't free, because you get paid to start a Bayou account. Yeah, you get 2,000 yen of free shopping money when you sign up with my link. So look, grab the free cash. That alone helps this channel. You should window shot. Maybe you'll see something you love. Enjoy the video. Fearsome Godzilla has evolved to become more powerful than ever and joins the mighty Kong. What happened to the Playmates guy's voice? I think he's trying to be tough, but he sounds like he just needs to cough really bad. Zuko throws a rocket skarking! <laughs> Playtime! Yay! Playmates has released the first wave of toys and merch for Godzilla Kong the New Empire. I've got a good chunk of toys here, let's take a look. And I'm gonna start with Kong, who's wearing the cast Monarch gave him. It looks really good here, it's very nicely sculpted. And instead of three slashes, his chest scars are now a tic-tac-toe game, because Godzilla scarred the monkey for life. Kong comes with a biomimic heave ship. Looks like a cricket. I'm starting with Kong because, for some reason, Kong is a really good figure. I mean, even for Playmates, this is just really good. Kong looks great, he balances well, he articulates in a lot of places, he's got some good weight to him. This is a very, very good Kong toy! He moves at the head, shoulders with a lot of range of motion, elbow joints, legs, even the knee joints, and one wrist can turn too. I love this Kong! He's making Godzilla look bad, man! This is a standard, pre-evolved Godzilla. I like the paint application on the dorsal plates, and I dig these colors. He doesn't feel quite as premium as Kong, he feels par for the course. Look at my guy's jaw, it's not even aligned right. I can't take him seriously. Mmm, french fry potatoes! So yeah, mouth opens and closes, shoulders move, tail, legs, ankles, which is always a bonus. And he's got the battle damage gimmick, which I always thought was a weird gimmick. Like, I feel like I'm picking a scab off to reveal ribcage and muscle, ugh! How'd Godzilla get a worse chest cut than Kong? At least when you stick the skin back on, it's real flush with the figure and hidden pretty well. Unless you count this Shazam lightning bolt outline on Godzilla. He comes with a blue beam, which connects to a hole in his upper mouth. You just wedge it up there, and boom! Atomic. I'm spending too much time on him. Forget him. Blue is out. Pank is in. Godzilla will evolve into this form. The dorsal plates have gone translucent until they're not, and it's just a really harsh transition into this salmon pink color here. Articulation is all the same. His translucent atomic breath isn't my favorite. When you get it in there, it's got this weird side splash. It looks liquidy. Looks, looks like he's throwing up plasma. I'm gonna jump to these two packs, because I really like these, and repaints of all these figures came in these two Versus boxes that also have cardboard diorama pieces. So here's the Godzilla Shimo set. Godzilla is awesome! Now he has this wash of icy blues, and I really like that. I strongly prefer this Godzilla to the other one. Here's Shimo. As I make this video, I still don't really know what she looks like in the film. But the toy is interesting. Diorama versions got more blues again, which I personally prefer. Shimo's interesting because she can pose on four legs, kind of like a hissing cat with an arched back, or she can go on two legs, which makes her taller than Godzilla, so he can talk to the hand. Her shoulders can fan out wide like Kong, so you can make it look like she's a school crossing guard. The mouth opens. Her entire lower jaw is hanging down like the dentist shot it up with Novocaine. More articulation in the wrists, legs, ankles, tail, head. 
And at least with the flip jaw, it's easy to get her nice blue ice blast in there. I'm still not a fan of the side spill look, but it looks better for Shimo than Godzilla at least. The cardboard pieces can be punched out to make the diorama. If this is anything like that vintage Tricephalon place that I showed you a while ago, these pieces will not age well. This diorama's cool though, it's Hollow Earth and there's this huge rib cage. It's very easy to assemble and it actually does look kinda cool. I think these sets are great, two figures, all their accessories, better paint in most cases, and some diorama pieces, it's a good score. So let's go to the Kong and Scar King set. They're also duking it out in Hollow Earth. The Kong paint variant is just okay. They went a little nuts on the red. It looks like he got sunburnt really bad. I don't mind it, but they painted over his trademark scars, so now this can be any gorilla with a metal yellow glove. Scar King's a good figure. He looks great. Paint is really nice on this Kratos looking monkey. He's looking more reddish yellow now. All the same articulation as Kong down to the wrists and added movement in the middle. Trickier to balance than Kong because of his slim frame. But his gimmick is great. You could take off the spine here and make him hold it like a whip. <coughs> Playmates just really nailed it with the apes so far. Moving over to this two pack with Suko and Doug. Now for a little toy, Suko has a lot of movement. His head turns, his shoulders, elbows, wrists, and he turns right at the belly. And he's got movement in his legs, knees, and his ankles? Kong and Scar King didn't have ankle articulation. How did this little Suko toy become the most articulated figure in this entire line? Giving this weird judgmental side eye. Hey, hey, back off, monkey. Suko comes with a rock. I guess you can make him throw it like he did in the ad. Doug is here and he's just got no color, no gradients. He's just jet black. I don't love that. He, he could have used some more colors. He does have a surprising amount of motion though. He's got a lot of tail motion. All four legs can move and his head can turn. His jaw is fixed though. All right, let's go to these battle roar figures, Godzilla and Kong. They're new molds as you can see. I don't know why Godzilla's looking so far up. He's slightly taller than the regular figure, but pretty much the same look and the same articulation. You can't miss this big tumor he's got here. This is the roar button. Playmates went the extra mile with these. They don't just have sound boxes, but their mouths move automatically when you hit the button, and it's a nice touch. Kong is a much different figure now. Bigger, no glove, new pose. He loses a lot of articulation. We're down to just shoulders, wrists, and legs. That's it. But his face when he roars is amazing. His button is on his back, so it's a little better hidden. Check this out. Oh, I love that. I'm all out of love. I'm so lost without you! Don't think I missed the Battle Roar Scar King, I just picked him up after I shot the rest of this video. Same deal as Kong, new mold, articulation down to shoulders, wrists, and legs. He's got his weapon, but this time it's not removable. But just like Kong, when he roars, his face moves very realistically. Finally today, three giant figures. These are big guys. They're about 11 inches. These guys are blown up versions of the figures I just showed you. All the same articulation. And while they don't have accessories, Scar King could still use his whip. Works a little better too, it straightens out more. The Godzilla also happens to scale pretty well with this big Jack's Pacific Godzilla, if you happen to have that guy too. It's a nice little before and after. Now we should talk about the super rare Chase Arctic Kong figure. Oh, and also Imperial Godzilla here, painted to look like the old Imperial toys. Nah, I'm joking. I just had two extra figures and I gave him a quick paint job. There are other Playmates releases like the small blind box figures and these masks, but, but today was about the first wave of proper action figures. What do you think of the new Empire toys? What do you hope they make next? Are we gonna get Titan Tech Suko? I can't wait to make that video. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time.